Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this Expedition truck. In this episode I'm going to be putting in the aluminium windows. I've decided to use domestic windows for this build because they're a lot cheaper than specialised motorhome windows. I'm also using acrylic sheet to glaze them with. I know acrylic sheet scratches a lot easier but it's a lot lighter and it's a lot cheaper than glass and you can easily take the panels out and replace them once they get too scratched. So thank you very much for watching. Let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is cut the acrylic sheet. So this is a piece of acrylic sheet. It comes like this with this white sticker on it. So when you peel the sticker off, you can see that it is very clear. It's actually clearer than glass and stronger, although it does scratch a lot easier. And to cut the sheet, I'm using a power saw with an aluminium blade. The reason for using an aluminium blade is that the teeth are straight. They're not offset like a timber blade. So if you use a timber blade, the teeth are slightly offset and it causes the acrylic sheet to crack along the cut line and chip off. An aluminium blade uses a much nicer cut, creates a much nicer cut. So I'm gonna cut the sheet first and then I'll show you how to glaze the windows. This is a window that I prepared earlier. So this is basically a sliding aluminium window, exactly the same as what you would get in your house. And it's just got a clip here that might be locked. Clip that, and then it slides open, closed, open, closed. And this little clip just clips onto the frame there. So this is looking at it from the inside. And then on the outside, a fly screen goes in here over the top of the sliding part. And these windows aren't actually designed to be completely waterproof. They're designed to, for water to leak down to the bottom and then run out. So these panels aren't completely waterproof. They can be taken in and out. And also where this fly screen is, water can run down the inside here. And the water that gets inside the window frame comes out these little holes here called weep holes. One there and one there. So this window, We'll go, we'll glue inside an aluminium frame that I've made for the truck. I've shown that frame, those frames in other videos, but I'll give you another look before we stick them in. That's it. Now, this window is the window that I'm going to glaze. It's the biggest window in the truck and it's a double slider. So it slides these two panels. One slides that way, one slides that way. These windows are really easy to glaze. First of all, you just take the sliding pieces out and they just lift out. We've got enough room for one end to come up. Take them out. You do your fixed panel first. So inside the fixed panel area, there's this foam tape, which is stuck there by the people that make the windows. And you just pick the top of that off. Then you get your panel. Yes, 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 yes. I should have also mentioned that the sizes for these panels come with the windows. So when you order the windows that you want, the manufacturer puts them together and gives you the sizes for the for the panels that you need to cut. And I got these windows from an aluminium window supplier. It is possible to buy directly from a manufacturer occasionally, but generally you need an account to do that. So you've just got to go through a supplier. And measuring your windows is really easy. I won't show you how to do it, but basically you just measure the size of the hole that you want to put the window in and then take 10 mil off the height and the width to give yourself a little bit of room just in case your hole is a little bit out of square because that happens. Right, now we'll put this panel in. Put this panel in. This is the fixed panel, so all you do is get the panel and put it down on top of the foam tape that's there. It can only go in one way. And you just centre it over the top of the hole.
The next thing you need to do is fix the window panel in there. And you do that with these clips that come with the window. They're called beads or beading or something like that. I can't remember. These, so these go in the side of the fixed panels and they kind of clip in underneath. Like this. And then you get this rubber which holds the, the glass in there and seals it a bit. And you click this down inside the bead. So this doesn't come cut to length. You've got to buy this and cut it to length. And you, just, you can just cut it with a set of side cutters. Just like this. These beads have got, or these clips, have got their own little profile. They can only go in one way. Put them in, you gotta lean them over a little bit and then kind of lift them up so they click in. And then you get the rubber, which also has its own profile. It only goes one way. It goes with those two bits down for a better seal. And then you just push that rubber in there, just like that. Panels for the sliding frame have their own rubber extrusion that goes around the outside of the panel. So it looks like this. You just put this over the outside of the panel and then it goes inside the frame. And you can put this around as one piece. So you just need to measure the width and the height of your panel and then cut some little triangles out of this so it can bend around at a 90 degree angle. Apparently it's possible to slide the panels in with the rubber on it, but I find I can do a neater job if I take the panel apart. There's just this one screw in each end. So I just do a couple of numbers on it, so I know which way it goes back together. Then take the panel apart, take the frame apart, put the panel in and screw it back together. That's it, one aluminium domestic window with glazing. Now we've just got to glue them in the truck. These are the aluminium frames that I made for the windows to go inside. So I have made another video on this, on the making of these I think. So it's basically just aluminium T section and I welded it into the shape of the window and glued it onto the external cladding of the truck and then the window will glue inside the here. That's the windows glued in. So you can see they're glued inside their frame and, they're, and that's all watertight. So all these windows are on the lower part, lower half of the truck. And one of the reasons I made these frames and glued them inside was so that it didn't stick out past the face of this cladding. 
so it wouldn't intrude with the roof as it comes up and down. But there are two windows that are installed in the roof. They're down the front here. So it's a bit hard to see, but there's a window there and there's one over the other side there that is installed in the pop top roof. So they had to be, they have to poke out a little bit more so that they finish flush on the inside of the roof frame. So they're not waterproof. We haven't built a frame for those to go in. So what we need to do is flash these windows and I'll show you how to do that. Basically, I've just got some 1.6 millimeter black aluminum angle and you just cut it <clears throat> you just glue this onto the, f the, f the front of your cladding and stick it up to the window. So you always want to start at the bottom when you're trying to waterproof things so the water runs down. So this is the bottom piece, checked out, checked out the corners so that the side pieces can run down. And then this is the side piece, just cut a miter on it so that'll fit over the top of that, like that. And that one will fit over that side, like that. And then I've done the same on the top piece, I've checked it out, and this is the piece for the top. So you just glue that against the top of the cladding and that will go down on the window. And then there is one more piece, this piece, this acts as like a cap that goes over the front of the top of the window to, to waterproof that, so on the top that goes on like that. That seals it all over, That's that you glue that along the front of the window, that seals it and then this goes on top and seals it against the frame. So I'll take these up now and glue them on and show you. Alright, that's the first piece glued in underneath there. I'll just chuck a few rivets in that just to hold it. That top piece that I was talking about, that goes on here and it seals, stops water from getting in the top of the window frame there. So I've just glued along the front of the top of the window. So now water can't get in the top of there and then we put the other piece of angle on top of that. Just glued down to here and glued to there and that seals the window completely. That's it, that's all the trims put on. Now I just need to touch up these bare edges here with a bit of black touch up paint and I'll just chuck a rivet in the top of that just to hold it in there. But that's it, that, that's a sealed window. So if you're doing a job like this and you can't have flush frames like what I've made, that's how you, you flash around your windows, make it watertight. That's all the windows installed. So we're getting a lot closer to the lock up now. And they all look good, they all work. These are the windows in the bathroom. I'm actually going to take these panels out and put frosted acrylic in there. I was meant to do that from the start, but I had a bit of a lot lapsing concentration. So we'll do that. And also in the last couple of weeks, I changed this door. So the last video that I made, part of it was about this door and how I built it. And in that video, I pointed out that it wasn't possible for me to open the door when the roof was down. And after I made that video, I was absolutely bombarded with messages from people telling me what a stupid idea that is. And I did know that it was a bad idea, but I just didn't really have the inclination to fix it. But I decided that I would go and change it. So I got rid of the, the circular um, shape for the top of the door, because I didn't really like that either. It kind of looked like something off a play school set with all the different shapes everywhere. So I changed the shape of that, the top of the door to the same shape as the slide out room. And I made the window in the top of the door the same as the window in the front of the slide out room, which is that shape. And now, I, and I also extended the door, so I made the top part of the door a little bit wider. So now, when the roof is down, you can open the door. So thank you to everyone that messaged me regarding that. It was very motivational. It really helped me to, to go back and change that. So that's it for this week. Thank you all very much for watching and see you again soon.